I'm pretty sure that over the four or so years of this channel I have showed you this before but many people won't have seen the video and I think it deserves to be given time again it's the most remarkable structure and although many people still regard micro moths as not being proper moths they are and they're absolutely marvelous What's so special about this is that the larva which mined the leaf that you can see running from the vein at the bottom of the screen and then up along the midrib a little bit before finally going back into the leaf and exiting that leaf. The larva then, looking for somewhere to pupate, constructed this remarkable, almost cradle-like network of silken lines. Two lines were put in from the leaf edge going towards the centre of the leaf near the start of the mine and those were then increased in strength by numerous other silk threads along both lines creating probably 20 or 30 silken threads to create one stronger structure and then say a second was added that helped pull the leaf over and the reason for pulling the leaf over was to create the space for then a second remarkable structure to be created. And that's that tube, that silken tube, which is about six millimetres in length. Inside that is the chrysalis, although I think this is a very fresh one and I don't think that the lava has yet changed into a chrysalis. But it's the extremes to go to to create such a structure as i mentioned there are few other species that go to this kind of elaboration most leaf mining caterpillars simply exit the leaf they cut out a semicircular exit hole and promptly drop to the floor and pupate in amongst the leaf litter the caterpillar of linesia clerkella is far more elaborate and artful than the rest of its cogeners and it creates another the line of silk which is then fixed at either end by five or six supports there's a tube created the larva enters that tube and pupates within after sealing itself in it's a lot of trouble say when the caterpillar could just save a lot of time and energy and drop to the floor and then create a simple silken cocoon. The moth will emerge within a week or so. The adults are tiny, they're quite elongated, and they overwinter as adults. Small moths like Lionesia, Clerkella, and other smaller moths that overwinter as adults, it makes you wonder how on earth they get through the winter how they have the food reserves to do so but they do so and Linesia clerkella does so very successfully because it's one of the commonest and most widespread leaf miners you can look for it on the leaves of say cherry in this instance but also tougher leaves like laurel and various other prunus species silver birch too a whole host of trees will be home to the larva of Lionesia clerkella and if you look carefully you may well see on the upper surface of the leaf this remarkable and elaborate construction it's a lot of trouble and a lot of time and effort to go to create this but it's absolutely remarkable for such a simple little thing like this tiny little moth with a wingspan probably of about seven or eight millimetres in length for such elaborate constructions it amazes me it really does i always have to ask why but i'm glad it does because this is an easy thing to find if you find your nearest cherry tree chances are you will have the leaf mines of Lionesia clerkella on which are long sinuous gallery type mines and somewhere on the upper surface of the leaf you will find
the remarkable construction of the cocoon of Lionesia clerkella. <laughs>